welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Angela and I am currently in Prague here in the Czech Republic. I just got my train, which was supposed to arrive at like 7.19 and it took like until eight. So I am currently walking to find my hostel. I'm staying at the Prague Dream Hostel. So I'm gonna go walk over there. It is raining right now and I checked the weather and it's supposed to be raining for like the next four days, which is basically how long I'm here. I got here obviously today, it's 8 p.m. But I have three full days here in Prague before I head to my next destination. I'm just walking down the street right now towards my hostel. I'm gonna check in and then I'm actually gonna meet up with my friend Val, who I met in Budapest and bumped into again in Bratislava. And now we're here in our third destination together as well. She's leaving tomorrow morning, so unfortunately today's the only day I get to see her, but I'm excited to go catch up with her, even though I saw her like two days ago. And I'll take you along with me for my four days here in Prague. walking to meet up with my friend Val and somebody else that she met here. So I'm looking for the restaurant now. My hostel is really nice. I got like a, I think it's like a 10 bed female dorm. It's super clean and everything, which is great. And it's actually a really good location. We'll walk into like an old town center. It's about 10 to 15 minutes, which is pretty good. Yeah, first impressions of the city. It's a little bit sketch, but that's probably because I'm arriving like super late at night and it's raining out. But I'm excited to see it during the day. Hopefully it looks as beautiful as everybody has told me. Honestly, every time I talk about Prague, everybody freaks out and they're like, oh my god, Prague, you're going to Prague. So the expectations are a little high. But yeah, I'm gonna go meet up with my friend now and I'll see you a little later. day two of my time here in Prague aka my first like actual long day. Yesterday I met up with my friend Val so I got to see her yesterday which was really nice and she introduced me to her friend Marwan who introduced both of us to his friend Alex so we ended up hanging out like the four of us. Yesterday night we went to like a bar and just explore the city at night with them so I'm really really glad that I got to meet them and now I'm actually headed to Cafe Imperial this morning which is a really famous cafe here to go meet up with Marwan who I met yesterday for some breakfast because the other two actually left this morning already so i'm gonna go head over there to meet him now for some breakfast and then aside from that i only have like a free walking tour planned for today at 3 p.m so that is my only plan we'll see what i get up to in between that but i'll take you along with me for my first long day here in prague now I had a really really fun morning with my friend Marwan. We ended up going to Cafe Imperial which is this really really nice cafe. We got breakfast there and tried some of their cakes which were so good. So I'm really glad that we got to check that place out and then afterwards we just walked around and went over to the Franz Kafka statue thing that moves like every hour so so that was something really cool to check out but now I just came back to my hostel to drop off my stuff and take a quick break and then I'm going to head out soon to do a little bit more exploring the city and then I have 
a few hours before my walking tour starts, which is at three. So very excited to learn more about the history of Prague and check out a couple more things. But yeah, I'm going to chill here for a little bit, take a quick break and then head back out. And luckily it's actually sunny outside, which is amazing because I thought it was literally gonna rain the entire time, but it is sunny and it's not raining right now. So thank God for that. And I'll take you around to explore more of Prague. walking around Prague for the last few hours just exploring the beautiful city and I totally get the hype now like this place is literally gorgeous I'm so excited to explore it some more but yeah I'm just walking around looking at all the gorgeous buildings they're so colorful and beautiful and the architecture is incredible got back to my hostel and had such a fun day. I went to my walking tour and learned so much about the city. It was amazing. Then I met a new friend there, this Brazilian girl, and we ended up getting dinner together, which was really fun at Local, which is like a really popular restaurant. But luckily they had space and I had a delicious meal there. Oh yeah, we had drinks before that and then we went to get dinner at Local. I'm back in my hostel now, gonna go head to bed and then tomorrow I booked another tour of the castle. So I'm really excited to check that out, but I'll see you tomorrow. Good morning, it is day three of my time here in Prague and my second full day here, which I'm super excited to do some more exploring today. I'm currently just sitting in the garden area of my hostel, which is actually really, really nice. Like, they have this huge area that you can just sit and chill and enjoy the fresh air, which is nice. So I'm gonna chill here for a few minutes. I'm meeting up with my friend, Sophia Soon, who I met yesterday at the walking tour, and we're gonna get our breakfast, hopefully from Cafe Louvre, which is like a super famous, like I think the oldest cafe in Prague, which I'm super excited to check out and grab some breakfast there. And then we have another walking tour book today for the Prague Castle, which is on the other side of the river. So we need to get over there. But yeah, that's our plan for the day. She's leaving Prague around 2 p.m. I think. So I won't get to hang out with her afterwards, but I'll see what I end up doing today. I'm super excited to check out more of Prague, but unfortunately today it's actually supposed to rain. So I have my umbrella and everything ready. Hopefully it's not too bad.
just dropped my friend Sophia off at her hostel because she's heading to the airport now and she doesn't have an umbrella so I figured I would just walk her back and she's gonna go back to my hostel and then I'm meeting up with my new friend who I made on the walking tour I did today who's actually Canadian. I'm really excited to go meet up with her. I'm planning to meet up with her at like the new city hall which has this interesting like non-stop elevator that's apparently really fun so I'm gonna go check that out with her but today we had so much fun I went to Cafe Louvre with Sophia this morning to get some breakfast and then we did the free walking tour around the castle district which has incredible views of the city. Highly, highly recommend checking that out. Definitely, definitely worth it. And then we got some lunch at this really famous like cafeteria style restaurant. We got the fried cheese, which I heard was really good. And it was like a giant mozzarella stick and it came with boiled potatoes and it was freaking delicious. And then we just walked around and dodged the rain for a little bit in a cafe and just chilled. Then yeah, I just walked her back. So I'm gonna go drop off my stuff at the hostel and then meet up with my new Canadian friend, which I'm really excited for. It is day four of my time here and my official last full day. Unfortunately, tomorrow I'm leaving super early in the morning. So this is my last day to explore, but I already honestly saw most of like the big things that I really wanted to see. So I am just gonna take a chill today. <laughs> last night was so much fun. I got dinner with my new Canadian friend, Jordan. Went to this very, very famous like beer dining hall restaurant that was super lively. Like there was entertainment. There was like an accordion player. They were like trying to feed people beer and shots the entire time and the food was really good there too. We got the duck confit with like cabbage and potato dumplings which were really good so that was a really fun meal. We met a bunch of like Americans at our table and it was just like a really fun experience and then afterwards we decided to do our own kind of like bar crawl because there's a really popular one here that a lot of people do but it's like 700 Czech krona but we were like oh, let's do it ourselves so we ended up hitting three different places yesterday. We started at James Dean which was supposed to like have pop music but they were playing like songs from like the 50s and 60s which is fun but not my vibe so we just ended up getting a drink enjoying the environment for a little bit and then we head to our next spot which was Caffrey's which is this really lively Irish pub that plays like super loud live music which is really fun as well we got some cocktails there and then we went to our last stop which was called Chapeau Rouge which is like this really fun club it has like three different floors underground and a bunch of different like bars and dance floors that you can choose from so we literally stayed there all night until it closed at four in the morning. So I got back to my hostel this morning at like five and just passed out, slept in until around 10. And I've just been chilling here for a little bit because I need to do laundry today because I haven't done laundry this entire trip. So I did some laundry, but I think I'm gonna go head out for the day, grab a bite to eat and then come back, move my laundry to the dryer hopefully and then see what I want to do after that. Oh yesterday I tried to go to the town hall thing with like the non-stop elevator but it was closed by the time we got there so I might try to check that out today. I'm so excited to spend my last day here in Prague. It's been so much fun and I get why everybody is obsessed with this place now. But yeah let's head out for the day.
apparently just exploring this little area a little bit farther away from the old town of Prague. I don't want to butcher the name, but I'll put it on the screen here. It's like a historic fort area and legend holds that it was actually the location of the first settlement that ended up becoming Prague. So that's what our art tour guide told us. So I figured I would come here and check it out. It's really nice. It's kind of on like a little hill area. So you just walk up and there's a really, really beautiful park, which I'm currently sitting in with some nice statues and stuff and then right behind me is the basilica which i just went into it was only like i think full price is 90 krona but i only paid 50 because i am a student so yeah i went in and it was honestly like, interior wise probably the one that i think is the most beautiful the paintings everywhere are just gorgeous they're so colorful there's like flowers everywhere i just think it's so beautiful and they have these little like gold accents on the paintings that just like reflect the light which is so beautiful and it kind of reminds me of like tangled when she like paints her ceiling and then i also checked out the cemetery which is right next to it and it actually has like the i forgot what the name of it was it's like slaven tomb which is basically where they buried a lot of important people in czech history so yeah those are like the big two things to go check out here it's really really nice like i'm just sitting chilling in this park area for a little bit i think i'm gonna eat because it's dinner time and then head back into town after some boba in front of the National History Museum I think. It's very very beautiful. This is my last night here in Prague. I'm really sad to be going but I had so much fun. The city is absolutely gorgeous and I hope I can come back one day. A quick note about Prague is that I didn't actually end up taking out any cash because they actually use the Czech krona here not the euros but I didn't even end up taking out cash and it was totally fine there's like credit cards at almost every single place the only place that I really had an issue with it was at the club last night because their cover charge you have to pay it in cash and like all drinks are cash only but they do take euros so I guess you can use that too but like obviously your exchange rate is not going to be great so that's the only issue that I had with that and in terms of like wi-fi it's a little bit harder to find it here so I would recommend getting a sim card with data if you can but you don't need to buy like public transit or anything like literally everything is super walkable i the only public transit thing i bought was for the tram to go up to the castle which is part of the art tour and, and then tomorrow i'm going to get a bus ticket to go to the airport but that's about it so everything else super walkable even from if you're taking the train like the train station is really really close by to the city center so don't even need any public transit for that i literally just walked and it was 10 minutes from my hostel so really really convenient but yeah i have my flight really really early tomorrow morning so i need to go head to bed very soon but i definitely recommend my hostel prague dream hostel it's a really good location and it's really big it's like five floors and super clean and everything so definitely if you're looking for a hostel that's a good one but yeah i've just been reflecting all day about solo travel and just how much i absolutely love it so i'll probably make a video just about solo travel coming up because a lot of people have been asking me questions about it and so i think i might make a video dedicated just to solo travel soon so if you're interested in that make sure to check that out but my next vlog is actually going to be in italy because i'm actually headed to milan tomorrow morning to meet up with my friends who i met on exchange two years ago i'm so excited to see them i haven't seen them in so long so super excited for that and we're going to be heading over to Cinque Terre together, which I'm also really excited for. So make sure to stay tuned for those vlogs. But yeah, thank you so much for watching this one.